biggin'. <laughs> There's always bass around bridges. And you know, when you got you know tough conditions and things like that, you always always can count on a drop shot. I thought it was bigger than that. I mean, you can always get bites on that. And you know, for smallmouth and things like that, I'll use a dream shot or a baby Z2, some minnow, minnow imitating baits. But for largemouth and just everyday drop shotting, I want a rig that I can fish around cover and, and have weedless. So this way, I've got a Texas rig down there. I got a, a, a one aught must add grip pin hook on here and a Strike King five inch filler worm. You know, the color really depends on the water clarity. I like natural colors in clear water and you know, something a little darker. This is morning dawn. That's a great color if the water's clear or dirty. So it's a little bit stained. But again, this way I can rig this Texas style. That hook, I run the hook point all the way through and then just put it right there in the top. A little quarter ounce weight, about a one foot leader. You know, the longer the leader, the less action, the shorter the leader. Every time you shake it, it makes the bait move a little bit more. You know, you can just really finesse fish that don't want to bite anything else, you know. So every bass angler has to have a drop shot tied on.